Kyle Canelia, I live in Costa Mesa, California. And the fin setup uh, that I'm writing uh, doesn't really have a real name. I call it a 2 plus none. The first time I experimented with this fin design was in 2014, so we've been playing around with this for a few years now. Uh, so just kind of like a step towards not really being finless or having fins, which I find interesting. Um, it was more of just a curiosity, um, but indirectly, guys like more contemporary surfers like Ari Brown, Trevor Gordon, definitely influenced uh, the objective of reducing the amount of drag uh, that a fin design can have. I suppose this fin setup would work in various types of boards and conditions, but I personally like it in the upper six foot range, and in that six to seven foot range seems to be the sweet spot for me. And it really works in everything. Um, in smaller waves, you're kind of just pointing and shooting down the line, but bigger or slopier faces kind of allow you to do more. It's really fun to try to lay into big bottom turns and really try to uh, prevent yourself from actually spinning and trying to really control the board from, from going backwards. The functionality of having those two tiny fins is actually pretty great. You get a um, tremendous amount of drive um, and the ability to direct your board Greatly reduced drag is, is a huge upside. Um, you also have more posture freedom, like the ability to stand upright, and the feeling is, is like nothing else. 